Coming in with a quick down and dirty video here on the EG4 batteries and inverters. And what I want to talk about real quick is just where I'm at. So I've got uh, the batteries out. They are in the battery uh, server rack or the battery rack. And uh, I've got some things I like about this rack, things I don't like about it. We'll talk about those in a future video. But I just wanted to do a quick update here. Show you what I've got going on. I've got the official... Um, EG4 high frequency 48 volt battery charger. It is plugged into the wall. It's going down through here and it is charging this battery as we speak. So you can see this one's turned on. The state of charge is over here flashing. <clears throat> For those of you who are not familiar, this is a uh, 5,120 watt hour battery and all of these together, I guess they're going to be over 30,000 watt hours. So it's like two and a half Tesla walls, basically. Um, this battery's charged. This one, I'd actually been using it previously. I'll show you here. I'd, I built out one of these guys right here uh, on a furniture dolly. So it's got a good charge. I've charged up this one. I'm charging this one. I've charged this one. These guys here. Uh, this one, I will say it's got the lowest state of charge, and that's because whenever I pulled it out of the box, the breaker was on, the battery was powered up. Actually, just kidding, it's this one. You can see here it's got it's got one, one deal there, and the alarm is going off. So I'm hoping once I get that thing fully charged up, we're going to be good to go. <clears throat> None of them are connected to the bus bar at this point on either side. And some guys, as you've seen on other videos, I'm sure, will take these bus bars and flip one of them. I tried that and I didn't like it because the way that the batteries, there's, there's three, uh, three screws here that hold the bus bar on. You can kind of see them. Yeah, like that one right there. You see with that red nut behind it or whatever it is, insulator. So, <clears throat> Get back over here. Whenever I flipped it, it stuck up about that high right there and it got awfully close to the cabinet and I didn't like how it was not um, protected at that point. So I decided to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna um, go ahead, once I've got it all connected, I'll connect my, my inverters here at the top on both sides. It will not give me the, the diagonal um, current um, I guess, uh, whatever they call it. It's a the more optimal way to draw the power. I'm thinking since these bus bars are so thick, I'm hoping that it won't be that bad. I'll check it out and we'll do some tests on it and just kind of see how that goes. And if it ends up being just completely awful, I will come in and um, change that. So that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at on this project. Um, still got an awful lot of work to do to get the, the panels up. Um, I am thinking about putting the inverters, like two of them on this wall right here, just to go ahead and get it going. If nothing else, to use the equipment and to power this, this barn here that I'm in. Um, another project here, if anybody's interested in it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I've got a Snapmaker um, 3D printer and I've um, got the, the CNC fourth access on it. We've got the 10 watt laser. Got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got the, um, uh, what else do I have going on with this? Got, um, lost my train of thought. The dual extruder coming soon. So a whole bunch of cool stuff to play with. If y'all are interested in seeing any 3D printing stuff on this channel, let me know, but right now we're focusing on the batteries. And I will say right here, I expected on my, I might just not know how to use this thing, but someone can let me know. <clears throat> I'm looking at it and I'm seeing 1.3 amps. <coughs> Excuse me, 1.3 amps is what this thing has been charging at. And I know through, um, 
a uh, I know that it's getting putting out over uh, a thousand watts so that's like 700 uh, 700 volts or something like that that just seems awfully high I didn't think it would it would be such a low amperage but maybe that's right maybe that's what it's supposed to do I will say when charging the other ones um, yeah I mean it's consistently about a thousand watts so whenever they're at you know one or two percent here at five or at fifty percent one or two dots on the state of charge it's been taking about three hours maybe four hours <coughs> to charge the batteries so it's not like it's not doing anything it's just I expected to see a higher amperage um, so anyway um, I think that's about it five and a half minutes we'll go ahead and call it uh, quits here but um, I guess one more thing I was gonna say is once these are all all fully charged um, I'm going to go ahead and take the um, cables here and we will connect them up to the bus bar and go ahead and get it all connected <laughs> excuse me man the reason you don't do this if anybody's wanting to know is if I've got these fully charged and this one's down here um, super low all of the energy in here they're gonna try to balance themselves out and this is all this energy is gonna rush into the, the bus bar and down into here try to equalize everything and uh, it's just gonna gonna be a crazy amount of energy flowing all at once good overheat could cause problems could damage the batteries a little bit um, and could also be just fine who knows so I'm gonna go ahead and do it the appropriate way which is to top off all the batteries and then connect them all right guys it's been Eric with I guess I'll turn around like this so you can see me my uh, holy shirt and my unkempt beard uh, Eric with East Texas Homestead. Thanks for watching. Put out some more videos soon. Talk to you later.